My dad's fixing my bike right now, so I'm kind of just washing pace in Kaya right now. Today I get to ride Subaros for the first time in uh, like a while. Full blown Supercross track. Am I a little nervous? Yes. Am I really excited? Yeah. Here goes pace. Yeah, baby. He's holding that second gear too long. And your dad's riding, right? Yeah, I think he'll ride a little bit super off and then he'll probably hop in behind Pace in a little bit. If... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, Marky. He's just having the time of his life out there. Uh huh. He's trying to ride it like a Suron. So Pace is like the king of all Surons. Yesterday we had a race. He's also the lightest one, but he has like the best technique on it. And then my dad hopped out there, but dad had nothing for Pace. So Pace easily won. Like Pace Beat smokes me. all of it. Yeah. He went like 1-1 one, one on the day. We were telling everyone how you smoke everyone else on Surons. I do. I went 1-1-1-1 one, 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 one last night. And against your dad. Oh, I I, can, I only did like a couple laps with my dad because my son died. But you smoked him. Yeah. That was the most goony thing I've ever seen. By who? Kaya. Do you see that turn? It was like... Straight from Austria is just like absolutely shredded. It's you, not the rider, it's the bike. All right, it's the bike. It's the bike? It's the bike. Why don't the bike do that triple? Um, Because I don't let it. Oh, uh, so it is the rider. No, it's the bike. It's the rider, I oh. guess. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Oh, my shot doesn't like that. Holy crap, bike, your bike is so much softer than mine. It says it's the bike, not the rider. It's yeah. the bike, not the rider. I just hit the triple. Is it actually pretty fast? Yeah, it's pretty decent. Like, it is a stock rocket, so straight from Austria. But yeah, her bike rips. It's a bit soft, but we made it work. Still hit the triple. Well, the first day of Supercross was a no-go. I swear, dirt bikes have feelings. Tate just got his new 2025 bike, yeah. which is an all-new 85. This 85 has been awesome to us. It's Never missed a beat. We haven't rode it since Loretta's. So it's feeling neglected, I think. I think it's feeling mad and anyway. I don't know, it seems like pow valve or something's not not working correctly on it. Um it just yeah, it doesn't wanna doesn't wanna make power like it should. So anyway, go home. Kids can get some schoolwork that uh, they also start school to get today. Actually I think they started yesterday. We'll MacGyver this thing up, try to figure out what the plan is and then uh, come back tomorrow and give it a give it a whirl. At Mountain Motorsports, we don't just sell power sports, we sell opportunities for adventure. Mountain Motorsports operates 10 dealerships across Georgia, Tennessee, and Alabama with tons of in-stock inventory of motorcycles, ATVs, side-by-sides, watercraft, and more. It's our mission to help you find and customize the perfect machine for you and your riding style. 
Not only are we committed to getting you on the perfect machine, but with over 200 years of combined experience in our service departments, we also support you through every step of your adventure ahead. Together, we make the road less traveled the most thrilling adventure of your life. Today we're riding Supercross on the new bike. My dad drove to Power Band to get suspension for Supercross. Uh, they had to do a lot of things because everything was brand new. They had to measure it all out. So we're riding Supercross today for the first time on actual Supercross suspension. So I don't know how it's going to be, but I'm just going to go out and figure it out. I'm sure I will, but I'm a little nervous. So just go out, feel it out, yeah, and uh, I'll listen, and we'll figure out where we need to change. Okay. Have some fun, bro. No trophies, no points here. Okay. Everything good? so fun when you're just like you go into it and you're like Hurrah. and then you're just like that but the one over there like that step over like once I do it like good I feel like a super ass pro I don't know I haven't really rode super ass other than paint training last year of course but I didn't really do any jumps but this is a real super ass track now so Let's see how it is this I mean it's a brand new bike all new suspension you're taking a, an educated guess at it you know some smart people obviously pow band know what they're doing I've, I've been doing supercross all too so thankfully they have a dyno there so we can kind of dyno where we were at last year dyno the stock shock dyno last year's stock shock and you know see where they're all at and then you can take it like I said an educated guess at it so first and foremost for me it's the excitement level that I see he's understanding he has a he doesn't not only does he understand or have a better understanding he now has a reality the reality is is you start out and you start on an amateur track and you start to learn 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 
and the way that last year went, you know, we put a lot of time in on Supercross, but for the most part, I slow played him. I had him on a leash. And so now, yeah, you know, he doesn't really have a leash anymore. <laughs> and it's scary for me watching him on the first laps and him, you know, going to hit the, the finish line and things like that. It's both exciting, emotionally cool, and but yet scary just because he, he does have those reins. I'm not restricting him or telling him what to do, putting him in a little box, you know, and so it's fun. Yeah, and then, again, let's be honest, I love Supercross. I love being around it. I just, you know, if there was one thing that Tate could be good at or take from his genes, it needs to be Supercross. Supercross will pay his bills for many, many years. You know, has the ability to take the boxes of his goals of racing and trying to take on dad's records and, and, and things like that. So Supercross is where it's at. So for me, this is there's more to it than just learning it. It's you, you have to do this step right. like you can land it and like you start to maneuver the bike like you don't if you go straight the bike's really long like the reason when you see them go like that and they go like this it's to actually get the motorcycle to go up and then back down there if you just go like this you have to go so high so tap the brake and then back down in there and then it G's out and sends you high on the next one this you just get in there like from here just get up yep and then like it's the up part. Don't try to go out. And like like he said, right in the middle here, there's already a little mark where he's cased on it on the, when he did the quad. And again, it's not yeah, it's just like down in there and get yeah. It's just that load and that acceleration all at the same time and then it pops right up. Take, then you take that out because you're you're massively over complicating it. Right now you're building it up to something that's not, and you're just gonna you're digging yourself a hole. So do it off to the side here, but do it where there's no thing and just go be up, and you can go long and everything's fine. Do that. Hit it at a bit of an angle. Hit it right up and over here, and then you can do that twice, and then you can do it on the track. That's easy, now you got the distance. But let me tell you, you can't do this in Supercross. This goes to this, every time. When I said lean on the front, lean on the front. Now do it, if you have to do it three times like that. But dude, while you're, you're like like this, it's, dude, have confidence. You're one of the best jumpers I know. Get in there and yeah, have some confidence. Like it's just a jump. This new bike seems to sit, has a shoulder shock, sags quite a lot different, but still it still looks kind of low and dead which then kind of gets that, but then, I, you know, everybody's go-to place is to get scared and lean back, and which is why you see such terrible technique in Supercross is 
As soon as you go back in Supercross, there's only one way, and that's forward and over the bars. So let's not get ran over. Sis will not care that we're on the film. <laughs> At no point do I want him to learn that. He needs. You need to push on the front. The reason why that front end's so stiff is because you're pushing on the front. So you're you're still you're 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 getting it, and you're trying to jump long. It's about getting down, and it's the your rep. Yeah, it's that. That's the thing you got to learn. Is yeah. Like one minute you do it, then you resort it back. You do it, you resort back. Like let's, let's stay it. Done what I said the first time. 18 times later. Finally get a decent. Finally. Finally you turned the bike. You didn't you weren't riding like a like a ah. I did that perfect though. It was sick. In about 10 days you're gonna go land and you yeah and you're gonna triple. Not today. <laughs> Pretty proud of myself that I did that over table before I was being a bit of a sissy and not doing it. Then I finally manned up and did it. Happy I did it. So, yeah. Big boy stuff. So solid first day, 2.0 first day. <laughs> first day we, we didn't even get to get on the track. We had a pal valve that was you know, having an issue and then that created the changeover to the 2025 and, and that's been a, honestly, what I probably the biggest thing I would say for people at home watching and interested and intrigued to know, you know, about the new bike, neutral opinion, I do not get paid by KTM. You know, we're supported by Mo Mountain Motorsports, so uh, take it for what it is, but I'm impressed. I think it's a considerable upgrade, big enough upgrade that we took a couple of days off so that I could uh, kind of regroup learn what was new, what needed to change, um, you know, and, and things like that. Like, we don't even have a pipe for it, and so it's been, you know, honestly, it would have been easier to stay on the other one for a couple of weeks. But yeah, I've had to make phone calls and get a bike to Mitch so that he can get a bike, you know, a pipe built and things like that. So anyway, long story short, I think it's worth the, the effort. Tate's excitement, Tate's level of confidence on the bike has has improved and, and is impressive, actually. So that excites me, and so we're, we're full steam ahead on that. Um, but awesome first day, like you know, he was kind of bouncy. He, you know, got got a lot of the got the finish line down. On, I think third third lap. And then the rhythms, um, you know, his his comments is is you know how hard Supercross is. So different forms of hard. You know, is it technically hard? Is it physically hard? Is it emotionally hard? Is it you know all of the above? And I think it's fair to say that it is all of the above. So. Uh, we'll continue to do the work because because it is hard and I think that five six lap eight laps You know at a high level on Supercross. I don't care who you are. It's gets the heart rate going so and then Kaya started to you know She's kind of starting to get her feet wet and ride on it and um, But this is a real deal, you know I like got to ride a team down version last year at, at Big James's. This is the real thing You know, this is a full-blown, you know, Supercross spec track. So it's a hard hard jump for her I'm not expecting her to do any of the jumps. I might you know, one of the days, take her over to Big James as if he allows us to come over there and, and let her kind of ride the track that Tate rode last year and get her up to speed on some of the jumps. But all in all, I'm impressed and I'm excited. He can relax, he can 